Hi, I'm Colin Hunter, and we're going to build the cottage of the future for the same price as the regular old cottage of today. Let's go! garage is full of stuff that we've been collecting all winter for the new build. Okay. So we've been, anytime we can find anything at a discount or something that's really cool, mostly discount, which is really cool. Yeah. Uh, we put it in Dave's garage or my garage, and then we've been transporting it slowly over to the other cottage, but you get to see a treasure trove of knickknacks and great finds. Welcome to Dave's garage. This is where we keep all the bargain items, like these beams. What about those? Paid 60 bucks for those. What about this spa tub? Eloquent. And I believe that we paid $100 for it. And that tub, you ask? Why, that was also a bargain buy. How about a washer and dryer? Front loading? So what if they were on the floor? They're still brand new. They haven't even washed a set of pants yet. We got some doors here. These are all solid wood from the restore. I think that they were just put in uh, wrong sizes or whatever. But these are all 90 inches high. These are standard 80 inch doors. Be nice. Here we have a shower pan. That's for the master bathroom. It will go beside the separate toilet room in which we have bought all of the toilets. These are great. I put these in a few jobs and this was only $120. So we're trying to find value wherever we can to make up for the fact that we're spending more money on our building envelope. Look at these. Not even a scratch on the scratch and dent washer dryer. Couple sinks, a couple more sinks, eh? I know you're thinking everything but the kitchen sink, but that would be incorrect because that's the kitchen sink right there. I don't even know what's in here. I'm pretty sure it's a vessel sink. Oh, we've got so much more at the little cottage on the property. We've got lights, we've got pot lights, homemade doors, we've got dimmers. Everything's got to be on a dimmer, right? We've got the glass shower door. It was a missed size from a glass maker. That's how we do it. Keep it simple, but make it classy. Colin, uh, who we actually met at a cottage show, uh, my wife recognized you. Hey, I know that guy. Yeah. That's Colin Hunter. And so we chatted with you and we said, uh, you know, he gave us your card. Since then, we've had Colin. We've had you do every renovation job at this property. And we negotiated a purchase pretty quickly. Uh, we um, signed our purchase agreement at the end of November. And then we started doing our due diligence. So we said, okay, let's close her. And we closed early January, middle of winter. Now we're off to the races. Beautiful rig. The house isn't the only thing futuristic on this property. <laughs> From the future, 1984. <laughs> all right, now that we've got all of our groundwork done, it's time to pour that concrete pad. It serves a few functions, and I think you're gonna think it's really cool. You ever seen a beautiful finished concrete floor in a cottage? Now it's 